If you hate the way that you look right now, it's never gonna get easier. No matter what stage of life that you're in, it's just gonna keep getting harder. And if you wanna actually start losing weight now and you're serious about it, you need to start right now. I told my friend the same thing about when he wanted to try and lose weight, but he just kept failing and failing and failing all the time. And especially for him being in his mid twenties, doing pretty well at other things too, whether it's in his career or with his family. And if you're in your twenties or thirties, you might feel the same way. But today I thought some of the advice that I gave him, I felt like was really impactful for him on his weight loss journey. And I feel like I want to tell you guys the same thing because I think it's just helpful for us to help each other out. So I had a call with this guy a couple weeks ago and for the privacy reasons for just for this video, I'm going to call him Tucker and Tucker comes up to me and he says, dude, I just feel really insecure in my body and I want to look fit. And so I said, dude, that's a really good goal that you want to be fit. But I asked him a question that might surprise you as well. And what does it mean to be fit to you? And so for him, he just didn't really know. He just says, gosh, man, I, I don't know what you mean on that. I said, well, what does fit mean to you? Does that mean that, do you wanna run an ultra marathon? Does that mean that you're healthy? Does it mean that you have single digit body fat? Does that mean that you could deadlift over 500 pounds? And for him, he honestly didn't have a solid answer of what it meant to him to be fit. And I think because of society today of that we always see these people lifting extremely heavy amounts of weight or doing these crazy achievements that we don't know what to do. We just expect to do the extreme because that's what we just see other people do. But in reality, no one can define what is your dream body because it's just a dream. It's in your head. And you gotta have a solid foundation of what you think is worth your time pursuing. Because for me, for example, even though my whole thing, like for YouTube, is to help people with fitness, I still don't need to go to the gym six days a week. I've honestly never gone to the gym six days a week and I've got pretty decent results. And so I tell him, dude, you gotta think about what you realistically have in terms of your day. What do you want? What are your standards and goals of what you want? And he says, well, dude, I don't know if I have enough time right now because I gotta, I gotta drive to work and then I gotta drive back and it normally takes about an hour of my day and he works like a nine to five. So he says, I don't really know how to schedule this in my time. I said, dude, that's not an issue. What, what do you think is the amount of time that you need to spend in the gym to actually get fit? And he says, ah, oh, dude, well, I need to go in like five, six days a week. And I told him, bro, that's, you don't have to do that. Who said that you have to do that? And then we could just keep dissecting it more and more. And he realized he didn't have to. He realistically for him, he just needed to go two to three times a week for less than an hour. And mind you, for me, who's been going for over like four to five years, I generally only go three to four times a week because I also have other things in my life I want to do, just like anybody else who's not wanting to be absolutely shredded or maybe even just be healthier. You just want to have fitness as a part of your life, not your entire life. For example, what, what do you want to get lean for? What is the goal weight that you want? then you realize that these are more tangible things that you can actually achieve. Because if you just say, I want to be more fit, then anyone can tell you what that means and you're just going to accept it. And that's not just with fitness, but with anything until you create your own standards of what you're comfortable with and what you're fine not achieving, then that's totally fine. So for example, for me, I want to get down to 170 pounds because I've done that before. And the first time I did it, my family, most of my family members thought I would get quote unquote, too skinny. It's things that naturally come as you get to the goal because you realize that's what you want and no matter what your family or your friends or your coworkers tell you, and if you're happy doing that, then who cares what the, all these other people are doing? So when you figure out these standards or goals that you have, you can actually start implementing them and not feeling so insecure about your body because you know what you actually want to achieve. But even though that Tucker felt a little more confident for him being able to know his goals and know his standards of how to execute them. He just started having this mindset that really held him back. And from a third person perspective, it looks pretty obvious, but when you're the person, you don't even know about this. So my friend starts listing all these different types of excuses saying, dude, I don't know how to diet. I don't know how to do any of these exercises. And even if I'm doing something right, I tend to stress eat because I'm so stressed out and food is the only thing I can cope with. And so I told him, okay, dude, I could totally relate to what you're saying. I used to have a binge eating issue where I would overeat all the time on junk food. And so I said, okay, so what? And for him, he says, what do you mean? So what? I told him no matter what's currently in your way right now, whether it's your mindset of like you overeating too much or you eating junk food and you feel like it's a way to cope with yourself. These are real things. 
and you can't just neglect them. Like those are things you have to address. These are the obstacles within your own journey that you have to confront head on because no one else is gonna do it for you. You really think like someone's just gonna give you a magic hall pass and says, okay, dude, you're good. You can, no matter, oh, i sorry. Like, you know, you, you stress eat. So we're just gonna give you a pass and you can get your six pack abs of, since that's what he wanted. And I asked him, I said, are you just gonna accept that, that because you don't know how to do this, that all of a sudden that you're just not gonna do it? Like, you're just gonna give up? And he says, well, no. I said, then dude, you gotta figure it out. You gotta take the time to really understand from the best of the best uh, in terms of knowledge, not really the results. Those are two different things, by the way. And you gotta dissect what the information is to your standards and your goals, and then you could start actually implementing them in such an effective way. Like, guys, YouTube has been around for over 10 years. Instagram can help you. Google can help you. Hell, even ChatGPT can help you with a lot of basic stuff. So there's absolutely zero excuse to understand how to lose weight now. And of course, it's gonna be hard. That's the point. And a lot of people want stuff that is really easy and they're saying, oh, well, I'll just never feel hungry and I'll feel full all the time even as I'm losing weight. But truth be told, guys, that's very far few in between unless you got like blessed genetics and that's even far from the truth as well. And if it's hard, that means that it's worth doing or at least it's trying to teach you something in the moment about yourself. So there will be a lot of times where you're gonna be in this moment when you're dieting or when you're wanting to lose weight or find out certain things and you're gonna be in that moment where it's like, and you're gonna think to yourself, wow, Dalton, like this really sucks. Like I can't believe you're making me go into this situation. So for me, Tucker addressing this to me, I said, okay, dude, no problem. What's your alternative then? Are you content with you having this body that you don't want? Are you, aren't you angry and you want to actually change this for the better to become a healthier person, not just for you, but for your family and your friends? And so he says, yeah, man, I guess you're right. I, I guess this is one of the only options I have. By the way, when I mean only option, I'm referring to the way how he wants to do it. I'm not telling him what to do. I'm just saying, here's the steps of how you can get there. Uh, and here's all these possibilities. So I told Tucker, no matter however it feels hard or if it feels tough, those are completely irrelevant to you actually accomplishing the goal. When I first started my full-time job, I started working about 10 hour days, uh, eight to 12 hour days. And honestly, it just like really destroyed me. And I was thinking to myself, wow, I, how am I gonna be able to keep up my fitness routine and try to stay in decent shape at this time? All right, this time is taken away from me and this sucks because after that, I would just go to the gym and then go right to sleep. But I realized, what is the alternative that I have? I could just not do it and then give up, but I don't wanna do that. So I guess this is the best option for me right now, is just go to the gym right after. A couple of my other friends, like they're nurses or policemen and they basically work like 12, 14 hour days and they get barely any sleep, but they still choose to go to the gym. They know it sucks and they know that they're tired, but they know that they want the results so badly that they're willing to do that. And the question is, are you willing to do that? I hope you are, because I believe in you. So Tucker feels really motivated, and then he starts going to the gym about two, three times a week. And after a month, he calls me and he says that he wants to start quitting because he told me something that he should have told me in the beginning. And so we end up talking and eventually talk more about this in person, and he says, Dude, Dalton, I feel like as of all the progress I'm doing, it's not doing anything for me. I'm just going to the gym and I'm learning how it's annoying, it's frustrating, and I just don't know what to do about this. And I told him, okay, bro, you are doing the things right, don't worry about it, but there's one thing that you're missing. I tell him, you're not focusing on the inputs. And so after that, he says, well, what do you mean by having inputs on this? And so I go more in depth and I tell him, dude, you are doing the right things. Now that you've taken the time to really understand what you need to eat, that how many times you wanna to go to the gym and the goals you want, you just need to keep sticking at it. Like not just consistency, but your perspective of why you're being consistent. What is the consistent thing you need to focus on? He kept focusing on the end result. And so he tells me, Dalton, I'm not losing weight fast enough. Even though he told me in the beginning that that's exactly what he wanted. And so he doesn't see the scale move and he thinks to himself, dude, this is pointless. Why am I doing this? And so I tell him, Dude, it's the inputs that matter, not the scale. You going to the gym, you eating healthy, you understanding your exercises, that's the input. Focus on the input first before you even 
think about looking at the scale again because if you focus on these inputs, the output will already just determine by its own. You don't have to focus so much on that because if you're doing all these things here and then you then convert that to the outputs, then you're gonna be fine, don't worry. For people that always wanna focus on the outputs, they're always gonna give out first. They will always fall and quit as fast as just as they started. So for him wanting to become more fit and then go into this certain mode of, okay, well, I gotta do all these things and then all of a sudden I'm gonna be successful. That's not how that works. Like you gotta do it day in, day out. And you focusing on the action, that is the goal. And so by focusing on your day-to-day -day inputs rather than just the end result, you're gonna be more successful and stick at it. Because if you say, hey, I went to the gym today and I worked out, that's a win. And that gives you the motivation to just keep going and not stopping. And earlier in this video, I mentioned that Tucker also had issues with things such as like stress eating and binge eating, and I've had that too. But if you have that issue, then make sure that you check out this video right here that goes more in depth on that. And I'll see you there in a second.